Remember Lawrence Ray? It was a disgusting case in federal court. Our own Adam Classfield had covered it. Uh, he manipulated, of course, college students in the dorm room, uh, including his daughter, uh, ju just to perform terrible sex act, forced labor, and he was ultimately convicted. Well, today there was a follow-up in court, in federal court. Isabella Pollock, who was one of the young women who was with him, pleaded guilty to charges dealing with the charges of extortion and racketeering. Uh, you'll see her coming out of the courtroom right there this morning. She'll be sentenced to a sentencing date in the future. Our own Adam Classfield was in the courtroom when she pleaded guilty. Let's listen. This is the Daniel Patrick Moynihan courthouse in the background, where just hours earlier, 15 stories high, we had the sole co-defendant in the Larry Ray, Sarah Lawrence sex cult case plead guilty to a charge of conspiring against the United States by laundering Larry Ray's money. The object of the money laundering conspiracy was hiding the proceeds of sex trafficking and extortion. And Isabella Pollock, 31 years old, admitted to that count in court earlier this morning. Uh, Isabella Pollock was the only co-defendant that prosecutors charged with Larry Ray in the sensational college sex cult case. The One of Larry Ray's victims, Claudia Drury, testified that she made $2.5 million in enforced prostitution, had to turn over the proceeds to Larry Ray, and Isabella Pollock, by her guilty plea today, admitted to being part of that conspiracy to extort Larry Ray's victims and to sexually traffic uh, Claudia Drury. She is going to be sentenced in February. The maximum penalty that she's facing is five years in jail. And that is also her federal sentencing guidelines, five years of imprisonment. This is Adam Klasfeld for the Law and Crime Network. All right, Larry Uretzing, I want to start with you because I know you have to leave me before uh, the next hour break. This was a case that was terrible. Her aunt, Cindy Pollock, actually came to the door in Piscataway, New Jersey, where she was living with Larry Ray, tried to get uh, stage an intervention, get, get her out, get uh, uh, Isabella Pollock out, and she refused to go, and was, uh, the aunt was told that she'd be arrested but for trespassing if she came back again. These young women helped other young women become enslaved, and all for the money, it appears, doesn't it? It does. Uh, but I also see Sarah Pollock as a victim herself, even though she's entering a plea of guilty to account. And it looks like she's not really facing a long uh, term in jail. And the judge could give her, obviously, anything. It doesn't have to be the maximum of five years. But I see her as a victim. And we've seen that in cult like cases where. You've got the one ring, the main leader who's basically brainwashing a number of younger individuals. And these younger individuals are so brainwashed that they can't really help themselves. And in fact, they ensnare and kind of lure others into uh, that same web created by the leader. And I've seen that. I, I've got a case. I'm seeing it now. I, I see how the victims just don't see themselves as victims. Yeah. Isabella Pollock uh, was part of the whole Sarah Lawrence thing. Let me just go to Jean right here. Jean. Uh, Larry makes a point that it's a five-year sentencing guideline, but you are a former federal prosecutor. Could the judge award less time? Oh, absolutely. First off, the five-year maximum, as I heard it correctly, that's 18 U.S.C. 371, a client conspiracy, I think, and it's a five-year max. That's a very generous plea offer. I got to repeat, that's extremely generous. The guidelines are probably through the roof, but they're capped at five years. Can a judge give less than five years? Of course, a judge could give probation. But um, this is a very good plea deal for Isabella. So does it reflect what Lara said, that the government actually sees her as a victim also? I think the, the prosecutors, I don't know them, I'm not reading their minds, they probably felt she initially was drawn in by his manipulation. But once she became part of the conspiracy, she was all in. And they must have pretty damning evidence that once she was drawn in, she consciously and intentionally, you know, joined the conspiracy. I, the first person that comes to mind is, is Patty Hearst. I mean, she went to trial. She was basically kidnapped, the Stockholm syndrome. And then she was convicted of being a, a member of the conspiracy after she was essentially kidnapped. So that's probably what the prosecutors were thinking. 
Yeah, Patty Hearst uh, from way back when, uh, from the Hearst Family News Organization, was kidnapped and then uh, became, according to the government, a conspirator, a conspirator uh, robbing a bank. Larry Uretzi, uh here then it goes to the money laundering, doesn't it? It goes to the fact that she was part of the money laundering for whatever reason, whether it's manipulation or whether she uh, used some of the money, but that she in part helped uh, this horrible, horrible person who is going, you know, who was convicted uh, and will be in prison for the rest of his life, doesn't it? It does. I mean, after all, no matter what, you know, the influ what the influence has been on you and how much you've been manipulated, you still have a mind and can make decisions. And in this case, you know, the prosecution is pointing out that, listen, yes, we're giving you a break, obviously, but you are still guilty of something and you're facing the five years maximum because of your involvement in this conspiracy and the role that you played. And, and Lara, we have about 30 seconds left. What advice would you offer to uh, women or men who are facing this? 30 seconds. Um, you know, in a situation like this, I would say try not to ever be in this situation. If you're being manipulated, at least listen to people who care about you and love you and are trying to get you out of this mess. But at this point, I guess she has to present the best face possible and maybe cooperate with the prosecution to get a much better deal. It looks like she may have already. Yeah. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, in some way, we can have some type of, of a situation where a young women who are uh, going to college, young men are going to college, that don't get themselves into this situation. We can monitor who's in those dorm rooms with them. Uh, if I sound uh, upset, it's because this case was horrible.